back to him and since craft so we are going to be creating this top and boy let me tell you you don't eat a snickers you really do become a whole other person <laughs> so in this top it's really lightweight i mean really really lightweight you can see i have a tank top underneath um it's granny square and then just a triangle so in the tutorial you will see me explain how to make this top. If you want it longer, I do tell you, you know, you can, you know, continue in the round to make it longer. Um, did you want these me rubbing my legs? Huh? Derek loves the top. He wants to make the top. He was sleeping he, already yesterday. He wants all of you to join in and make this cute top. You could do like I did, multiple colors, or you could do solid colors. I am working on several in solid colors. I truly think this is going to be my go-to summer top because I could wear my tank tops underneath it and, you know, feel breezy and comfortable enough. Kind of like my arms and things, but even if you, you're confident, this is still a really cute top to make. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. I know I say that several times in this video. Um, down below in the description box will be my email along with Crochet A, Canada's uh, Sandy, her email and all her information to her page to check it out for last month's tutorial. Also, um, down below I will have written out um, in details how I go about this. That, you know, in case you get lost in the video because I know I have a really hard time sometimes explaining step by step on everything I do so that way if you get lost you can go back and check in the description box for the pattern itself or message me so again I hope you like and enjoy making this top hi uh welcome back to who intends crafts and as you've seen in the pictures before we are going to be making a springtime summery top um, as I mentioned in the previous video, you can use whatever yarn you have on hand. I would not recommend using a bulky or a super bulky yarn only because it will be more sweatery than a lightweight, summery, springy top. Um, but if you, you know, it's whatever floats your boat. If you prefer it to be more of a sweater, then go right ahead and use a bulkier yarn. Um, I'm going to be using a 6mm hook and also a 5mm hook. This is totally optional. You do not need to use two. You can stick with one. You can even go up a size if you prefer. You want it to be loosey. Um, I was going to say loosey goosey. <laughs> you want it to be loose, you know, and flowy. So I'm using Echo Bright's yarn. It's 100%. Uh, recycled polyester. It's the color purple. You know, it looks more bluey to me. It's 255 yards. It says a super bulky five. Well, not super bulky, but it says a bulky five, but it's not. It's more of a four. So this is what I'm going to be using. So first, I'm going to be making a magic ring. You could do a magic ring. You could do a chain four, you know, whatever. However you want to make your loop. I chained up three. This will count as a stitch. Now you're going to put two more double crochet. And chain two. And now you're going to put three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet, it's just like you're starting a granny square, that's all it is. Chain two again, and then one more uh, set of three double crochet.
chain two and then right into that top of that third stitch you're going to slip stitch okay pull tightly and you should have four corners so we are going to slip stitch into that first corner so go into that first stitch and slip stitch that second stitch slip stitch and then right into that corner slip stitch and chain up three pull some yarn so like i said this is just your easy breezy typical granny square start you're going to put two more double crochet oopsie chain two and three double crochet remember that first chain of three counts as a double crochet so you'll have six double crochet total and then a chain of two now you're going to chain one and then into that next corner the same thing three double crochet chain two and then three double crochet Chain one, and again, three double crochet in the corner, chain two, and three double crochet. So every corner is going to be the same. A total of six double crochets and a set of chain two. So three, chain two, and then three. Now chain one and your last corner, three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Chain one and then again, you're gonna find the top of your chain three oops slip stitch and then you're going to slip stitch until you get to your corner again and slip stitch into the corner and then chain three so every chain three will always count as a stitch you could do a chain four if you wanted to um or, you know, you can do a chain two and uh, not have it count as a double crochet. It's up to you how you want to do your granny square, but that's how I do it. So now we're going to, again, do two double crochet because the first one counts as one. Chain two. Now three double crochet. chain one in that chain one space you're going to put three double crochet chain one and now we're back to the corner three double crochet chain two and three double crochet And that's it you're going to go all the way around just like that you're going to do well i i did it for about 20 rows so if you count like each one of these you would have like 20 and in every chain one spot you just do three double crochet in every corner you do three double crochet chain two three double crochet you're just going to keep doing this granny square pattern until you have a size that you like it's going to be it's going to be your arm so like I said I did 20 rows from me now I'm chunky and I have the wings <laughs> 
So I did a looser arm. So it's all up to you how, you know, I don't know your size. Um, so I can't really say, you know, what you should do. But just keep growing it and you're going to fold it in half. I'll show you right here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay. You're going to take it and you're going to fold this in the half. And if you think, okay, you know what, that's going to fit my arm. You know, you could even like wrap it over and double check. You're not going to sew these parts together. This part gets sewn to the top of your shirt. So don't sew it together thinking, oh, that's going to be the arm. But lay it over and see, you know, measure your arm, see if it fits, see if you like the fill of it. And if not, then keep going in your rows. Um, you know, you can just keep going and going. You can have it really flowy and, or you can have it to where it's a little bit, not snug, but a little loose, not as flowy. So it, again, it all it's all up to you. But you're just gonna do your typical granny square. Again, I'll show you. Oops, my one double crochet came out. If you hear Aiden, he's playing among us. <laughs> Alrighty. So in your chain one space, three double crochet. And then chain one. And then in that corner, Three double crochet, chain two, and then again, three double crochet. And that's your typical granny square. So you're going to just keep going all around. Like I said, again, I did 20 rows. Um, and that to me was perfect. And I did that. Um, for my shirt and another person's shirt and it fit them perfectly so again if you just want to follow and do the 20 rows then follow and do the 20 rows you are going to make two of these okay so you will make well you have two arms <laughs> so you are going to be making two of your granny square panels and so again i did 20 rows and you want it to be loose, so you don't want to do, you know, bigger the better hook for this one. You want it to be flowy and loose, you know, nice and breezy. Alrighty, I will finish off um, my 20 rows and continue on. So I will see you in a bit. Alrighty, so for this part, I finished uh, both of my panels. And we are going to be doing the middle now. Now the middle is just one big triangle. Now you can do this two different ways. Well, a few different way ways really. You can do regular, um, this is just double crochets. Or you can do um, a granny square triangle and have your whole top be granny square. I like the different look it gives, like the granny squares in the corners, you know, your arms, and then this in the middle. I think it gives the top, like, a really cute look, but whatever you want to do, you can do. You don't have to do uh, just um, double crochet. You can do, um, like, a couple rows of double crochet, and then you could do uh, back loop double crochet and front loop double crochet and get that little edge you know that little ridge look and you can like alternate that in different rows and really like make this pop you can even do like um a couple rows of puff stitch like make it your own like you can truly just do this however you want and you just want it to be a perfect little triangle at the end of it so you can really like go the distance with this and really create a really cute top but for this to be more of an easy breezy simple we're just going to stick to the double crochets so let me move this to the side 
Now let's get started. So for this one, uh, this is where I switch off into my 5mm hook. I wanted it to be more of a tighter stitch, not too tight, but a little bit, not so loose as this, okay? So it's optional, like I said, you do not have to switch out. You can keep it um, with your 6mm or whatever hook that you are using. It's up to you. Um, it doesn't really make it, I mean, it makes a little bit of a slight of a dis difference in the stitches. You know, like I said, I wanted more of a tighter stitch than a loose, loose one, like the granny right here. So, but it's still, you still need a top underneath. Alrighty, so I'm going to make a magic ring. And I'm going to chain two. Now, <clears throat> sorry, again, you can do your chain of four, connect it, and do it that way. I just love the magic ring. So, and this chain of two will not count from this point on, will not count as a stitch. It's just going to be your chain up. You're going to do three double crochet. Chain two, and then three double crochet. Pull tightly, and then chain two. So in every corner, your first little stitch right there, you will always make two double crochets. And then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. In your middle, you're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Now, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two double crochet in that last stitch. Chain two. And there you have your start of your little triangle. Alrighty, so again, that does not count as a stitch. So in that first stitch right there, you're going to put two double crochet. Whoopsie. And then one double crochet in each of the next uh, stitches leading up to your middle. I had five stitches, so you should have had five too. So now in that middle, you're going to do two double crochet, chain two. And then two double crochet. And then in the next uh, five stitches, one double crochet. In your last stitch, you're going to put two double crochet. And then chain two. And that is it. That is your repeat. You're just going to keep um, doing those sets of stitches. Oh, it is coming up really purple, right? <laughs> In person, it looks more blue. But anyway, um, you're going to keep continuing that until, let's see. I, I believe I did 16 rows, but let's count. So count each of your little hoops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I did sixteen of the solid color. The last row I did 
I wanted it to match my top. So I did one extra row of the color that I used in this top. But because I'm doing solid, I won't have to do that. So 16 rows. I know we did 20 rows for the granny. And, because, and we did this because... Oh, I should mention this, and I'm so sorry that I didn't. You don't want to have the same amount of rows in... Here, let me flatten this out for you really quickly. Okay. You don't want to have the same amount of rows as you do in your sleeves because you want to give it a little tiny bit of a, like, you know, well, sleeve. So you want it to go over just a little bit. So you see how this cuts off right there and then you have these extra rows that is what you want so if you let's say you cut this off at 16 make sure you don't cut this off at 16 you'll have this a little bit less so like 14 so okay so that's what I did and that's what you're gonna do so um you just want it to have like a little bit Actually, you don't want it to be completely together or you have like a weird sleeve. <laughs> so, I'll show you one more time oopsie, how to do this. So, we chain two. Counts as nothing. In that first stitch, two double crochet. one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches leading up into your point. And then two double crochet in that point, chain two, and then two more double crochet. So you have a total of four double crochet in your point and then one set of chain two. And then one double crochet in each stitch leading up to your last stitch. In your last stitch, you are going to put two double crochet. And then chain two. Alrighty, and so you're just going to keep following this pattern until you have your completed rows. Mine was 16. You can do, if you want a longer, uh, see that's going to be difficult because if you do a longer top, because it's going to be, your tank top is going to be underneath this. So obviously like it's going to be kind of like a crappie top. Um, if you want it to be longer, then you're going to, when you're done with the top, we're going to add rows to make it longer. Okay. So at this point, oops, I hear, so sorry. So at this point, Keep your 16 rows if you're following my pattern with the 20 rows in the sleeves and the 16 rows um, for your middle. And then when we're done with that, we put the top together. Then what we'll do is we'll go around and, you know, you can do the length of it. Now, I did this color to match the sleeves, but you don't have to. If you're doing solid, of course, then you're going to stick with your solid color and you know, continue down the rows and make it as long as you want it to be. Um, so yeah, so you are going to make two of these. So that's two sleeves and then a back panel and well, a front panel and then your back panel. Okay. So two of your triangles and two of your large squares. Once you have all of that completed, then we will sew this puppy together and have yourself a beautiful top. So I will see you back when I completed uh, my triangles and 
we'll be back to sew this bad boy together. See you in a hoodie. Alrighty. So once you have um your panels done, you are going to bear with me. You're going to fold. it over and you are going to line it up with your triangle okay leaving a couple inches you'll see it will line up but you'll still have like a couple a couple inches um off and that is what you want this is going to be your sleeve so that's what you want so Right here, you will have your point. You are going to match it up with your last point, um, your, your last corner of your granny square. So those three stitches you're going to match up with your point. It will be one, the chain two okay so you're going to go to one single crochet in the chain two and then your one double crochet and your next double crochet and then that's where you're going to start sewing and then you will continue to sew the whole way down again leaving a couple inches now i moved it so i mean myself way more but there you go leaving a couple inches okay so you're going to do this side and then you'll do the same thing over to this side. So you'll get your um, granny square and you're just doing the one side. You're, you're not sewing both your um, sides together. You're just doing the front part. So the front and the front you're going to match. And again, you'll do your three stitches, that one single crochet that's in your chain two and then your two double crochets. You'll match it up with your three double crochets right there. Don't do the chain, do the three double crochets. So you'll match those three stitches up and then you'll sew all the way along your edge, leaving those few inches, okay? So, and then you'll flip it over and you will do the exact same thing to the back of your sleeve. And it doesn't matter back and front. I mean, they pretty much look the same. So it's you, which you want to be the wrong side, which you want to be the right side. So anyway, unless, well, no, even if you did double color, it's still going to look the same. So anyway, sew in all your ends. And then that's how you're going to sew it up. And then you're going to continue to the back. Now. Right here, you will take, you'll just, you know, tie it up to your liking. I just did a couple stitches and just, you know, cinch the top and do the same thing to the back. Then for that sleeve down here, it will be opened. You're just going to um, stitch those couple stitches together and then along the side, hold on, let me try to get that so you can see that better. I'm so sorry. There we go. So then along the side of your shirt, because you'll have your two panels, you're going to stitch that up. Now mine's going to be a different color because I used the variegated. So that's how mine's come out. Mine had came out. So then you're going to do that. Okay. And then you do it to the same thing to the other sleeve. Those couple, let me get the purple one. I thought it'd be easier to show you. I mean, tell you then, you know. All right, so right here, you'll have these few inches. And so you don't want that to be a gap. You will stitch those together. So right there, you'll stitch that together and then you have like an inch or two along the side. You'll stitch that along the side. Now, 
This is totally optional. It, it all It's all on you. You can leave the shirt how it is, or you can add a border to the end. Now, all I did was I just started from the corner and I just went along the bottom and I did a double crochet in each stitch along the bottom. Um, I can't give you an exact number because it all depends on how many rows you had and things like that. And, you know, so that's all I did. And then I did it the whole way around. So then I just started working in the round. I did three rows. I did one row of straight double crochet. And then I did one row of, I mean, two rows of front post, back post to give like that little edge look. So that's what I did. Now you can do this longer. You can do a pretty cell, uh, I said so, shell stitch for the bottom. You can do like whatever you want, or you can continue and do a granny stitch for the bottom. That will look really, really pretty. Or like I said, you can just leave it alone and do like a simple single single crochet edge to like, you know, finish it up and keep it looking really nice. So yeah, that's, that's all you do. It's really simple and it's really easy. Again, like I said in the beginning, I will have um, it all written out for you in the description box below. But again, let's go over this one more time. So you lay out your first triangle, okay? And then you lay out the front. Well, you, you could put them together like this. You could fold it over. You lay out your one arm and your other arm. You go to the top of your triangle and that point right there, you will have two single crochets, well, two chains, and then two double crochets. You'll take the first chain and you will tie it together with that first double crochet. <clears throat> so sorry, you'll have the three double crochets, remember? Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in your last corner. So those three double crochets, you'll sew the one with the one uh, chain, and then you will sew together the two double crochets with the other two double crochets, and then each stitch along your edge. You'll leave a couple inches, and that's fine. You don't have to do this part. Remember, you want this for your sleeve. Then you'll sew this part together to itself, and then your side in. Whoop, a hair, really? <laughs> and then, oh, the hair came back. It didn't want to leave me. And then the side in, okay? You will do the exact same thing on this side, and then it's going to be easier once you flip it over. Then you're going to do the same thing to your next tri uh, triangle panel. And then up here, all I did is I just, I didn't even do anything like perfect. I just stitch it together to make it, you know, tied up together. Now, I did not do anything around this edge, but if you wanted to, you can do a single crochet around the edge to um, finish it up a bit. If you wanted to around here, you can um, um, decrease this and make it more of a um, fitted sleeve if you want, wanted to instead of loose. Make a cuff sleeve, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Like I said, you can make this your own, okay? And the bottom is completely optional. I just liked the little edge and look. I thought it really gave a nice finish to the top. Um, and like I said, this would be like kind of like a crop top. Um, you have a tank top underneath or a t-shirt underneath, whatever you feel like wearing underneath of it. But if you wanted it longer, then you would just continue in the round and making this longer. Um, uh, yeah, so this one, I did the variegated yarn and then solid. And so then I finished off with the variegated to give it like, you know, a cute little look. But if you're doing solid, then you don't have to worry about any of that. And it's just going to be simple. Now, I didn't do any fancy stitch. Let me turn this inside out. I and mean, matter of fact, I crocheted this all together. <laughs> so, 
So that's what you can do. If you want to crochet, um, instead of sewing it together, you can crochet it together. You can do the mattress, mattress stitch. Whatever stitch you want to do to seam up your ends and both your sides, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, I just, I just picked up each loop and I crocheted it together. And then at the end, <clears throat> so sorry, my voice keeps going out. I just, then I got my needle out and I sewed up these ends and I did try to match it the best that I could but it you know, like I said it doesn't have to be it's just just supposed to be easy breezy simple top yep easy breezy lemon squeezy sorry let me just flatten this out for you so you can see it so there it is all laid out and it's pretty simple. Like I said, you just lay your two squares out and then you just sew it together along the sides. And that's it. So I can't wait to see your creations. Um, please email me pictures if you decide to um, join in and do a top. I would be so happy to see it all. Um, like, a sky's really the limit with this top. Like, you could do any types of stitches in the middle. You could even do any types of stitches for the sleeve. I just really love the granny sleeve. It gives a nice, airy fill. And like I said, you can use any yarn. Does not have to be... Well, this is super wash merino. And then this is um, cream cotton. You do not have to use cotton or super wash merino. This one is... This one right here is... Um, what did I say this was? Polyester. 100% polyester. The other one I did, which I'm so sorry I don't have it here with me, is 100% acrylic. And I did that with Big Twist. And, yeah, just regular Big Twist acrylic. I did up the hook to a size 8 and make it more flowy because a size 6 gave a little bit more of a sweater fill than um, a nice flowy fill. And oh my goodness, I wish I would have took a picture of that. But I'm telling you, like right away when I make, made it, it, it was gone. <laughs> um, somebody had wanted it in my family and so they got in it. And yeah, it was 100% acrylic, so flowy. Like I love the granny. It just gives you a nice airy, look at that. A nice airy fill. This really will take you just a couple hours. It took me four hours um, to complete. It might have took me less if I like stuck on it. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty mindless. Like I said, you're just doing two granny, huge granny squares. I can make it a blanket, but not quite. And then two of the triangles. And that's it. Really simple, really easy. And you make a great top. You can do these in all different types of colors and wear them throughout your spring and summer. I mean, can you imagine like this with some shorts or some capris, a tank top, even jeans like in, like you saw me in the video, um, intro video. But uh, I'm really loving this. Like I'm really, really loving this. Um yeah, it just came out really, really good. Sorry I had to show you how to sew it this way. Like I, well, I didn't mention it, but when I was sewing up the purple, it was so hard to see that I just thought, well, you know what? I'll just explain it this way and how I sewed it up so you can do it. Um, but again, down below in the description box will be step-by-step -step on every uh, thing that I did, the... Um, the pattern for you so you can follow it along in case you're a little bit confused with the tutorial I you know sometimes I don't always know how to explain things with my words I can tell you it perfectly written down but sometimes wording it I get kind of off so I apologize if you have any trouble and you need help please please message me my email will be in the description box down below along with crochet a uh, Canada Sandy all of her information to her channel for the Be Hootified collab and her Etsy site and everything else. So go check her out as well. 
for last month's hair tutorial. And yeah, that's all I have for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and share it. I would love to see so many people be able to create this top. I really, really would. Again, I will say, like, if you have a hard time following along, please, oh, please um, message me and let me know and I can help you. I, like, I would be more than happy to help you step by step to do this. But it's really, really simple. And I know I say that, um, but it truly is. Like, if you know your basic granny, granny stitch and your double crochet, then this is the top for you. Like... Wearables can be simple, and this one is definitely simple. All right, I hope you are having a hooterific day. Hoot and out. Bye.